Hi, welcome to second video on virtual app that is developed at Department of Telecommunication Engineering, SIT Tumkur. So, in the previous video, we have seen how to conduct the experiment of half a rectifier with only rectification and uh, with filter. In this video, we will see how do we conduct a half a rectifier uh, with line and uh, load regulation. I think we also seen the line regulation. In this video, we shall see the load regulation conduction using half a rectifier. To start with, okay, let us click to start. It, it will go to uh, this window. You can click over here to conduct uh, experiments on rectifier circuits with uh, line load regulation. Let me click on this. So it will go to uh, these three uh, links where we will proceed with half a rectifier and regulator. So in this we have already done with uh, half a rectifier with the C filter. Next it is half a rectifier and regulation. Let us click on this. We have also done this. Okay, uh, let us see what is there in 5 volt regulator. We have actually done this line regulation. Let us see what is there in load regulation. If you click on this load regulation now you can see. Uh, in order to find load regulation, we have to actually load the 7805 regulator with different resistances. So in this we have three variants. That is the regulator is uh, first done with no load. So we will be uh, connecting no load at the uh, output and we are trying to find out what is the output voltage. Then we load the regulator with uh, 20 ohm resistance. Then we load the regulator with uh, 100 ohm sorry uh, 10 ohm resistance so let us see uh, what are the details of this particular uh, experiment and okay, what all readings we are supposed to take so if i click on this we'll get the details for uh, that is a circuit diagram what we're going to uh, we'll be using when we are actually clicking on uh, circuit diagram you can see now we have a half a rectifier and uh, uh, the necessary resistance for this half a rectifier happens to be the input resistance of the uh, uh, regulator itself it can be 7812 or 7805. So in this example uh, we have taken 7812 and there is no load connected here. So there is a capacitor of 470 ohm connected uh, to fill out. So we will be connecting a C1 plus probe onto the input of the regulator. C2 plus is connected the output of the regulator. Since the output is not loaded, so this is the circuit diagram of half a rectifier with load regulation. So without cutting any. So in the the waveform that what we're going to see over here is something like as you can see now. So we have uh, a waveforms for no load. Uh, the input voltage that is the uh, filtered output voltage which is at this point. So and you can see the output voltage C2 plus which is a blue one is a constant line. So it, it is at 12 volts. So as you can see now it is not loaded. The output voltage is 12 volt. And, uh, if we click on uh, the other two buttons so as we saw in the uh, previous uh, uh, windows so we can actually so as you can see just back and uh, try to find out so if you click on this uh, 20 ohm uh, resistance so this is actually connecting uh, this particular resistor onto this load so if you click on uh, rl of 20 ohm will be actually connecting this circuit so when we actually connect this circuit the output load voltage will output voltage of the regulation will change so this regulator can be 7812 or 7 so uh, for illustration we taken two different regulators 7812 7805 now depending on which regulator you select so that particular regulator will be get per uh, the specified load and uh, these are uh, some of the specific equations uh, what we have for uh, this experiment. So we have a transformer of 909, a capacitor of 470 microfarad connected. And we have a, a ripple voltage uh, of uh, VP minus VD on by FRC. The maximum input to the regulator will be VP minus VD on. And uh, so now this is uh, this is the maximum, the minimum minimum voltage to the regulator will be VP minus VD on minus the ripple voltage. So this is the minimum voltage you're going to get. So as long as the minimum voltage is uh, more than uh, that is required to get the proper regulation, you're getting a proper output voltage. Now you can see. So the uh, uh, readings that we are, what we are supposed to take uh, VP minus VD on V ripple. What is the maximum ripple voltage, minimum ripple voltage, and what is the average voltage? So we're going to vary the resistance for a uh, uh, different uh, value. That is, for 100 ohm, what is the average voltage? For uh, sorry, for 10 ohm, how much is the output voltage? 
for uh, no load what the output voltage and for 20 ohm what is the output voltage so we will be actually doing uh, taking the readings for different output voltages so let us uh, go back to uh, suppose if I click on this 5 volt regulator now I will be connecting 7805 to the uh, rectifier output and no let, no resistance will be connected to the output suppose if I uh, click on this so I will be actually connecting 20 ohm to the uh, 7805 suppose if I click on this so I will be actually connecting 10 ohm so as the resistance at the output of your 7805 changes the load current changes naturally the output voltage will slightly reduce so we'll be uh, taking a reading of uh, all these uh, output voltages for different load condition so that will going to give the load uh, regulation graph so at any point of time if you want to exit from the experiment you can simply say exit if you click on this button the output uh, will become zero so i can go back to previous page by clicking on this so let us Go back to previous pages and then of course whatever we did for 7805 we can similarly do it for 7812 suppose if i select 7812 i can do the line regulation so i can click on this to uh, do the line regulation you can go to previous page and uh, you can do the load regulation here this is uh, 12 volt uh, regulation with no load 12 volt regulation with uh, 20 ohm so with resistance as uh, 10 ohm so what all things we did it for half a rectifier we can repeat the same thing for the full way rectifier as we can see here these are the possible variants for a full way rectifier regulator if i click on this i'll be uh, selecting the full way rectifier so i can click on this to conduct the experiment of full way rectifier you will be seeing the waveform on the oscilloscope of the analog discovery you have to take the readings and then if you want to do the full way rectifier with a filter click on this depending on what the value of capacitance you have to connect you can click on either c is equal to 470 or c is equal to 100 corresponding uh, uh, capacitance will be connected to full way rectifier you can actually see the waveforms again on the analog discovery scope you can go back to previous uh, thing and you can conduct the full way rectifier with regulator it can be either 12 volt regulation or uh, 5 volt regulation even in 12 volt regulation you can do the line regulation as well as uh, the load regulation so you can see for load regulation you can either select no load 20 ohm or 10 ohm resistance at the load uh, we can certainly do similar operations for the bridge rectifier also you can select bridge rectifier here and uh, you can actually uh, conduct only the bridge rectifier you can measure what is the dc voltage so here you can see in all the experiments we have restricted the circuit will be conducting for only 10 seconds which is sufficiently enough to uh, uh, take a uh, reading on the scope so once the waveforms come on the scope you can just stop it you can that will be get stored so later you can certainly make the measurements so let us uh, go back to previous thing of course you can do the bridge rectifier using again different capacitance values you can do uh, line and load regulation both for 7805 and 7812 both line and load regulation so likewise uh, using this virtual lab uh, uh, Access you can able to conduct uh, any experiment of half a rectifier starting from a half a rectifier to full rectifier and of course including the bridge rectifier starting from uh, rectification to the load regulation. There are almost 30 variants possible in this particular virtual lab. Uh, in the next video, we will actually uh, conduct a few experiments and then actually take some readings and uh, try to uh, find out how actually you can use this virtual lab as though uh, you are doing the experiment virtually but you will feel as though you are doing uh, in front of uh, as though you have all the components in front of you so you can actually do the experiment uh, take readings and then you can able to uh, visualize the waveforms so we will see in the next video of virtual lab 3 actual conduction of different uh, rectifier and line and load regulation circuits thank you